And I'm Jennifer McGill. Just saying. I don't know about you, but I don't like to read, <laughs> which is ironic because I'm a speaker and I have to deal with words on a daily basis. Even the people who have been encouraging for decades professionally struggle every now and again with what to say and finding that silver lining in a really cloudy day. Because I don't like to read a lot, I don't burn through a whole bunch of books. I've actually been reading the same devotional for a few years over and over again. Jesus Calling, it's Enjoying Peace in His Presence. This is by Sarah Young. I'm leading you along the high road, but there are descents as well as ascents. I don't even know how to say that. Ascents? I don't know. I can't say that word. That's not, we're not gonna read that part. <laughs> ascents, okay. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Your longing to reach those high peaks is good, but you must not take shortcuts. And you know, I wish there was a shortcut for all of the stuff that I have to do. There's so much time that goes into projects, and I know you're just like me. You might have different projects, a big family, a curriculum, trying to finish a degree, just pass your driver's exam. There's all sorts of stuff that we have to go through that we wish that we could take the shortcut and then just lay back on the couch and enjoy the rest of the day and not have to think so hard. But it says, your assignment is to follow me, which means Jesus, allowing me to direct your path. It says, learn to trust me when things go wrong. Now today, for me, that means when things don't go my way, when things don't line up just conveniently the way that I would like them. But what if your schedule changes last minute? If you're a planner like me, that can mess up your whole entire day if the focus is on me or you instead of following where Jesus is leading day to day. I have lovingly planned every inch of the way. And so it's sometimes hard for us to believe that obstacles in our path, schedules that get all messed up, a sick kid, flat tire, people not showing up when they're supposed to, including us procrastinating. There's so much that can lead to us feeling like, God, this can't be the way it's supposed to be going. But I want to encourage you through my devotional, through uh, John 21, 19, through 2 Corinthians 4, 17, and Habakkuk 3, 19, that God is in the middle of today. He has planned everything out and you need to trust all of the high peaks of your day as well as the low valleys. They're all meant for something bigger than just today. Those trials are meant for something bigger, whether it's your character, whether it's the next step in your career, whether it's something you need to learn so that you're wiser for someone else who's going to need to learn that a little bit down the path. Whatever it is, I'm not saying that we're going to figure it out soon and we're going to know what this trial is all about, but please come along with me today and holding the hand of Jesus, even in the middle of all the imperfections of the day. Together we can make it. God says so.